Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to be looking at potential tropical storm Danny in the Atlantic. Before we could get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. Now, right now, we are looking at the five day graphical tropical weather outlook by the National Hurricane Center, and they have issued a disturbance off of the Africa coast. This is right now a tropical wave that has come over the tropical coast. It has a 20% chance of a cyclone formation in five days. It did have a higher chance, but as we do have some wind shear in the way of this thing, um, it is brought down to that lower chance of developing it's actually uh, a little over 40 percent chance of developing uh, i think was yesterday so it definitely has weakened chances of developing here disorganized showers and thunderstorms over the far eastern atlantic are associated with a strong tropical wave development if any of the system should be slow to occur during the next several days due to marginally conducive environment conditions this wave is expected to move westward to west northwestward to 15 to 20 miles per hour across the tropical eastern and central atlantic through the middle of next week formation chance to 40 hours is a low 10 percent chance and a formation chance to five days is also a low 20 percent chance so definitely a very low chance of developing it still does have a chance but we do have some wind shear of the way especially over there right near barbados and those other islands and like i said here's the current wind shear values and we currently have over 60 knots of shear in, in those red areas this is where though that's where that tropical disturbance is right off the coast of africa as you can see it's right now it's not in very much shear at all we're pretty much seeing no shear so definitely it could develop into maybe a tropical depression within the next next couple of days until wind shear uh until this enters that wind shear area but pretty much that's a whole wall of wind shear and that's going to block it from developing or making impacts to the u.s now if it does somehow make it through here to maybe over here definitely could have some chances some more higher chances of developing maybe into a tropical depression or tropical storm uh, but again we do have some wind shear over here that's going to block it from making landfalls a possibly a tropical storm here but again it's not going to have really much of a chance to develop over the next few days unless this wind shear does move out of the region now this is actually now invest 95 l so this is actually not a disturbance anymore it's still a disturbance of course but this is now invest 95 l here's the current satellite imagery here and as you can see we are definitely seeing some convection it's not very widespread as you can see we're seeing some of that convection weakening in more of the southern part of this storm but we are seeing some more explosive convection which is good over the northern portion of the storm again this does not have a very low chance of developing but it still does have a chance especially because it's not very close to wind shear yet uh this definitely could i want to be surprised if this does form into a tropical depression because this is not entering any wind shear anytime soon of course the wind shear can develop very quickly um but this definitely does have enough time to form into at least a tropical depression until it does enter that wall of wind shear that's blocking it from entering around the caribbean area now here's the current model intensity guidance now as you can see we currently have two models right now that do have it agreeing they're pretty much agreeing the same here now it does have a reaching tropical depression strength like i said um but then again it does weaken as it enters that wind shear and pretty much dies at that point as you can see that's 20 knots so that's pretty much a normal low pressure system still a tropical system but that's pretty much a low a normal low pressure system but as you can see it does make it to that tropical depression strength but then it does weaken very very quickly as it does enter that increased wind shear now model track guidance pretty much has it going nowhere it does make it to more of that tropical depression strength in this type of region here but then that wind shear increases in this type of region and it pretty much dies out there and that was the update for invest 95 l be sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a single update or a live stream on the channel and if you are a storm spotter and you like taking pictures of storms and if you even just want forecasts uh, for local storms um, for mostly around the Midwest region, make sure to check out the Facebook group down below. But anyways, stay safe.